We're going to finish off now with a full numerical example of price discrimination to try to illustrate that we can make more money when we charge different prices to different people. So in this exercise, we are running a hair salon. We have both male and female clients, but they're different. Our female clients, there's a lot more of them. If we charge $10 for a haircut, then we'll sell 1,000 haircuts. If we charge 15, then we'll sell 800. So we lose some of our women when we raise our price, but most of them will stick with us. On the other hand, for the men, we only have 200 people who want their 200 men who want their haircut at a price of $10. But if we raise the price to $15, we lose half of them. So what's happening here is that the women are less sensitive to the price of the haircut than the men are. Their price elasticity of demand is lower because their quantity change as a percentage is lower for that same price change. Okay, so let's think about how much money we would make if we charged the same price to both groups. Well, if we charge $10 to both men and women, then we sell 1,200 haircuts. 10 lots of 1,200 is 12,000. If we charge $15 to both groups, then we sell a total of 900 haircuts. 15 times 900 is 13,500. So we are best to charge $15. We make the most money if we charge $15 for these haircuts. But now let's see if we can make more money by charging different prices to the men and the women. Okay, first we'll start with the women, because women are clearly more important than the men in this uh, exercise. If we charge $10 to the women, then we sell a thousand haircuts. Ten lots of a thousand is ten thousand. So we get ten thousand dollars from the women if we charge them ten dollars. If we charge fifteen dollars, we give eight hundred haircuts. Fifteen times eight hundred is twelve thousand. So we are better off charging the women $15. We'll make more money if we charge the women $15. But what about the men? Well, for the men, if we charge them $10, then we get 200 haircuts. We give 200 haircuts, and so 10 lots $10 times 200 gives us $2,000. On the other hand, if we charged our men $15, then we only get to give 100 haircuts to men. $15 times 100 is only $1,500, so we're better off charging our men $10. Overall, if we charge our men $10 and get $2,000, and our women $15 and get $12,000, then overall we get 12 plus 2 is $14,000, a higher profit than 13.5 that we could earn by charging the same price to everyone.